she is sat waiting like a good girl oh oh wow <laughs> that doesn't work for me hello everybody welcome back so yeah you've obviously read the title this is a little puppy update video for our puppy that we got back in june so we've had her just over six months now um she's nine she's a nine month old staffy called winnie winnie sit sit up up she's laid down on me she's like why are you telling me to sit up no oh you are such a precious girl aren't you hello hello she's my baby my little baby she's the sweetest girl ever I say that and she goes to nibble on my nose no she is she's the sweetest girl ever she's great with the kids if you knew it um i have three children i've got an eight year old a four year old and a two year old and she is amazing we all three of them she's so patient with them she loves playing with them they love playing with her it's it's so lovely to watch but she's also the reason that this happens I, I just noticed it then she has like normally it's two cushions in the corner that are just I set them right and two minutes later they're all like folded and out of place because that's where she lays like her little corner or she uses it to stand to get onto the windowsill to look out the window and be nosy don't you yeah she's a lovely she's such a people's dog as well she just loves being around people she making friends everywhere you go don't you she is absolutely lovely she is we've got a cat as well called garfield he's five and she's scared she's actually scared of him he's not a fan of her because her version of playing is like well, like any dog's version really is like just bounding over you know being all excited and Garfield takes that as oh god she's going to get me so he like smacks her on the face and everything and growls at her so now she's scared of him so she doesn't like being near him upstairs <laughs> and whenever she is upstairs he's like watching her like a hawk aren't you so you stay downstairs so you and Garfield get space don't you but obviously we do let her upstairs with us like in the morning when Kane doesn't want to get up for school I have to say I say to him if you don't get up I'll bring Winnie up because all I have to do is open the gate and she's running up bounding on his bed licking his face and everything to wake him up it's so cute and I think he does it sometimes just so she'll come up to wake him up but it, it, it's so cute and she loves it yeah she's amazing obviously since she's nine months old she is like right i wouldn't say we're in the worst part of the teenage phase right now but obviously the the teenage phase isn't, is until like they're what two or three years old i think around it was around october november time when she was at her worst so four or five when we'd had a four or five months that's when she was like at her worst with a teenage phase she was constantly trying to get like shoes that the kids had left in you know like as kids do they leave stuff about socks anything she could get a hold of that wasn't hers like the kids toys that are downstairs because obviously my two-year-old she'll get stuff out play with it for five minutes and then just walks away and say if we're rushing like if it's a school morning and we're rushing oh she would have had a great time with that a, a great time and Steffi's Steffi's they they just chew through everything but she's not getting as bad with that now it's like 90% of the time she's she's a dog she's a normal dog and then that 10% of the time she's like this little Tasmanian devil that's the only way I can put it um she's so clever though she knows sit she knows down she knows paw she kind of knows spin but 
but she'll only do it with a treat. She, as soon as you start guiding her, she does it, but she won't do it if you just say it. She knows up. Um, she knows wait. She knows here. She kind of knows give. It, it really depends on what she has and if she's in one of those moods. If she's in one of those moods, they, like the amount of times in the garden I have chased her around for something that she's had that she shouldn't have. And when she's in one of those moods, when she's in a really mischievous mood. Nine times out of ten, she's just like this. She's literally just laid next to me, chilling out, asleep. Or if she's not next to me, she's next to one of the kids or next to my partner, Josh. Like I said, she is really a people person. She is rarely ever like away from us. She just she loves being around people. She really does bless her. On her walks, her walks are still a bit I don't wanna say ropey. She just gets like, if we see another dog, she's either terrified of them or wants to be their best friend. And it's like, after we try and get her away, because I don't just let her walk up to any dog, because obviously we don't know what that dog's like. And like I said, she will either lay down, go on her belly, as like that, her way of surrendering, like saying, look, I'm not a threat. Or she wants to play. But obviously not every dog, not every dog is like that. So try and not have a go up to them all. We just kind of try and have a carrying on, try and distract her from it. But as soon as we're away, she goes mental. She will start like chewing on the lead, pulling the lead really bad. And I have to like sort of get the lead, not tight, but so it's not slack enough for her to chew on anything. I've got to stand there for like a minute or so so she can calm down before we move again. She's good when I say wait, when we're near a road, she will wait. And I say, go on then and crosses the road. I don't trust her off lead yet. Um, I feel like if there was no distractions or anything, that should be really good. But the fact that there's always people around and everything and other animals, you would have no chance. So obviously I don't want to risk that or anything so we don't let her off lead and that was actually once she got out the back garden and it wasn't even it wasn't once i'm telling I'm, I'm telling a lie there it was like three times doing she was getting out like say the gate had been left open and she was just having time of her life across the road there was this green patch she's just there running back and forth in the rain i'm trying to get her in and she's having none of it that's also why I don't want to have her on lead because when she's like that, the listening just goes out the window. It's like she is a model dog if treats are involved. But if you take them out for on a walk with treats, they do nothing. So it's trying to navigate that. Which is also hard because the kids always want to come out on the walk with her. So it's like the kids sort of rile her up something. It's very... I don't want to say it a bit of a challenge, but it's it's a lot more like a learning curve sort of thing because she is our first dog, but she is amazing with most things. She really is. She does have a bit of separation anxiety. Like it's just me and her and Garfield in the house right now because Josh has took the kids out to his grandma's and. She will stare out the window until she can't see him and then she will keep going over to the window crying. Not proper crying, but like whimpering sort of thing. Because she just, she just, like I said, people's dogs, she just wants to be around them. And that's why she's like attached to my hip right now. Even if there's someone else still in the house, somebody leaves, she gets upset about it. Which has resulted in like the destructive chewing that they do when they get anxiety and stuff like that. I've tried not making a big fuss out of her before we leave because that I've read can like increase their anxiety. But it sometimes come back and she has done nothing. 
all the time we've come back and somehow she has got a shoe or a toy or she's been able to get something off the side and she's had it and wrecked it. It's not even like she doesn't have any toys either. She has loads of toys. To be fair, there are only two toys that have not, that are not like broken. This, this is literally what's right next to me. This was a rope toy that my childhood dog had and it stayed intact for his whole life. And it was, I don't know how she's got it so short because it was really long. It had like four or five sausages on. And this is what's left of that. The only ones I've found that she has not, like look at this. My Nana got her this for Christmas. I said straight away with this bit that she'd have that. It's a crinkly toy and this is what is left of him. This poor little gonk. The only toys I have found that are really good like test what's the word stand the test of time with Winnie sort of thing is Scooby-Doo ones from B&M this is a Scooby-Doo squeaker one to be fair she had this in five five minutes and the squeaker had already been moved but she still chews on it even though the squeaker doesn't work she's had it a few months and it is still in great shape and there's also a Scooby-Doo ball she has had that for months and it is still in great shape. It's not broken or anything. It's a squeaky ball, so she loves it. The kids play fetch with her all the time. They love it. Really hard, chewy ones have been really good for Winnie. She still has a Kong from when she was a puppy, but obviously we need to get her a bigger one to put the stuff in because it, it's like this big. So she's obviously too big for that now. We don't think she's gonna grow anymore because she's one of those staffies that you get a lot of them that are short but stocky when he's taller and she's not as stocky but it um we were reading stuff online and it says that they only grow to a certain amount obviously and then they start filling out but you have shoulder muscles for days don't you when she's on window so you can just see these massive shoulders. Your massive shoulder muscles, aren't they, baby? She's so calm right now, and she is like this 90% of the time. It's like when she gets the zoomies, I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> Everyone, move to this end of the settee because she's gonna jump up and spin and bark and run about. It's so funny to watch her though. The kids find it hilarious. Like the other day, Naomi was hiding behind the arm of the settee and Winnie was on the settee and she was jumping up saying boo and Winnie kept barking at her. Tails going mad and everything. And it was just so cute to watch them. Because it really is like, I saw a TikTok the other day and it's like, obviously you grow up with your childhood dog. Then you get one and you have kids. Obviously we've done that other way around. Had kids first, then got the dog and that becomes their childhood dog so it's like i'm watching my kids make memories like how i did with my childhood dog and it's it's so oh it's just heartwarming it's it's just lovely i know it has nothing to do with her update it is just lovely though it really is i don't know if you'd have seen on it she does have like this skin condition thing but it could also be from when she's pulling it well we thought at first at first it was from her pulling on a lead so that's why we don't have a have a collar on in the house but it is still like she will point blank refuse to go out when it's raining and because we live in england it rains a lot so like she can if it's raining she refuses to go out for a walk so she stays inside and it's not even all healing back there are some parts where we're first starting to grow back but from everything I've searched online it could be dermatitis or an allergy to something or just the fact that she has sensitive skin because a lot of staffies suffer from skin conditions. That's why the type of like shampoo I use for her is for sensitive skin. It's the Bugalugs, I think oatmeal one, so great for sensitive skin. It smells like lime and coconut and she she smells lovely she smells absolutely lovely for days and 
a, it makes her coat so, sh so shiny. Her coat's shiny anyway because she has salmon oil in her food every day. Which I didn't even know was a good thing for them to have. It basically has loads of benefits. Helps them live longer and everything. It's great. So she has that every day. She has a tails food. Which is amazing. She loves it. And she loves that they do yak chews. Which do last her a few, I'd say about three days. It lasts her. <laughs> yak chew so we get multiple of them because they do all sorts on tails not just food it's like treats and toys and lick mats and they did have an advent calendar on at Christmas but we'd already bought her a different one so we didn't um, end up getting that but yeah I'll put a link for tails down below she does not understand what personal space is <laughs> like I will be sat at just Chilly watching telly, having a coffee and she's got to be on me. Like I'm surprised she is next to me right now and not on me. Because that's what she normally does. Her tail. Her tail. It's just a weapon. It's a lethal weapon. She's wagging and she catches your leg. It hurts. Oh, she'll hurt herself with it. That's another thing. She's extremely clumsy. <laughs> the amount of times a day. She goes to walk into the living room and turns to early and bashes her face straight into the door frame. Unbelievable. If I had a pound every time that had happened, I'd probably be rich by now. And I'm there going up to, oh, sweet baby, are you okay? She just stood there, wagging tails going again. I call her wiggle bum most of the time because when she wags her tail, her whole bum, whole back end just shakes and it's adorable. It is so cute. She really is. She's absolutely amazing she really is and she's she's massive if you saw the video of when we got her if not i'll link it in the description she was tiny she was like the runt of the litter she was so tiny and now like she's massive she is massive aren't you everybody loves her oh gosh when my mum comes round when he just doesn't leave her alone she just she gets <laughs> She gets excited like every time she looks at her. So she's just constantly excited while my mum's here. And she loves my sister. She loves like Josh's mum and his brothers and sister. She absolutely just loves everybody. She really does. When people see her out on the walk, on walks, obviously you get some people that don't want to fuss them and everything, you know, because like they're scared or they just don't want to. But then you get some of them that want to fuss her and it makes her so happy and it just makes my heart melt she really is just a sweetheart probably the sweetest dog I've ever met in my life I would say she's gentle but when she's well she's gentle with kids when our two year old is playing tug of war with her she is so gentle in pulling but when say if it's our eight year old me or Josh, she will rag us. Like really rag us playing tug of war. But she, I noticed it the other day, she is so gentle we are two year old. Like they just know, don't they? They just know they're little babies. Um, But she can't, she gets boisterous with me and Josh when she's playing. I think because obviously she knows we're grown ups. And when we're rough housing them a bit. Obviously she do not try to scratch us. But you know when they like jump up and then they're smacking you on the arm and of course do it like i've had like marks not where she's caught i just got marks from playing with her because like i push her and she comes running back and i push her and she comes running back she thinks it's great but she smacks me while she's coming so i get all these little scratch marks no she honestly she makes all of our day just so much better i mean obviously there are times when she's chewing the shoes and the socks and i'm like oh, for god's sake i mean obviously it's our own fault that they need to be moved and that but other times it can be there and she will not bother so it really just just depends on the day with her but like i said 90 percent at the time she's she's just chill absolutely chill like when 
Josh brings the kids back later, she will go mental because she will be so happy. And she knows not to jump up, we've taught her not to jump up, but sometimes she gets so excited where she does jump up. Not in, like, she does it gentle still, but it's like, when you know when you're trying to come back into the house with all the kids and it's like, right, just, just give me a minute. I will get you, I will give you fusses. I know you've been here waiting. She loves food though. Like, that is one thing we are struggling with her at the minute is the begging. Like, sat eating tea and she can be so, this, it, it, I don't wanna blame it on the kids. It is kind of a bit to do with the kids though. Our youngest, our two year old, we tell her, don't give out to Winnie, don't share it with Winnie. You have it now just gives her food out her hand. So then there were one point last month where when any time our two year old Sienna had anything, Winnie would just take it out her hand, even if she wasn't offering it. So she's reeled back on that now, which is good. Let's say if we are watching, well, we're watching a film, so we're eating in here on the settee. She's so sneaky, you can look away for a second, that's it, something's gone off your plate tell her no down you sit on the floor or sit in a corner where she lays she'll sit there for two seconds and then she she crawls you know like army crawl sort of thing and she thinks she's so sneaky about it but she really isn't it's so obvious what she's trying to do but she thinks she's clever and sneaky about it don't yeah other than that like other than that and the chewing thing which is partly well I'm like mostly our fault anyway we're leaving stuff around with like when the kids don't make stuff up etc she's just she's great she really is bless her realize i've been hearing about you and they haven't even seen you that much have they you're just a sweet baby right next to me little stuffy mug from b and m and you just sweet girl she d oh, back to about baths. She doesn't like baths, but she will tolerate it. She will try and get out a few times, but for most of it, she will just stand there. I try and give her baths monthly, but I don't know if because of this, that I should start maybe trying to bath her more often. We're just trying to work out what it is that's irritating her skin. But yeah, we've still got a long way to go with her. Obviously, we'd love to get to the point where she can just walk next to us other dogs don't affect her in the way of like she gets excited or she gets scared where she's not trying to jump up at every person that walks past because she wants to give them kisses and she wants fusses off them it's just obviously only a dog it's a massive work in in progress we still have a long way to go with her but She's just done amazing. Like, I couldn't believe how smart she was. She learnt sit in a day. And it was... I, I just couldn't believe it. She is, she's great. She's just part of the family, aren't you? You and Garfield, you're part of the family, aren't you? Even though you don't get along. But me and Josh know she'd never hurt him. She's just too scared. She tries to stay away from him. It's Garfield that gets her. But no, she's an absolute sweetheart. She really is. She'd be a rubbish guard dog, I say that now. Anyone who tries to break in, she'd just want kisses off them. Just give me love. <laughs> New person, give me love. Are you taking that? That's fine. Just give me, you just let me give you some kisses. That's what she'd be like. Yeah, like I said, we've got a long way to go with her for where we want her to be. But she, she's honestly doing amazing. Couldn't be happier. With her. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little basically me ramble on about my dog. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe because obviously there'll be videos in the future with Winnie in, like vlogs or like maybe a training video if you want to see how I trained her. Like sitting down, I know they're like the easy stuff, but yeah you you want to if you want to see stuff like that just comment down below i will gladly go in on how about we're training her and stuff like that we do actually want to get a crate for us soon which would help with 
the anxiety, like the destructive chewing while we're out. Like, so that's something I want to get into is crate training and stuff like that. So I'll probably do videos on that as well. That sort of journey side of it all. And if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. If you have a dog, comment down below what dog, what breed of dog you have. I love dogs. And kids are the exact same. Every time we go out, can I stroke your dog? It's, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Stop filming and see, this is what she does. That's what she does. If it'll focus. Winnie. What is it? She's waiting for them to come back. Winnie. Hello, sweetie. Where are you? You're there. They're your toys, aren't they? There she goes. And it keeps losing focus on her. Chewing away.